Hello Kazuma846 You asked how to get the uh, screen shaking effect that I have here Let's see How did I do that without causing uh, this scene to shake beyond the boundaries here where black would show up in the background I'm going to show you how to do that and also notice the scene that I just showed is what I cropped as well. You'll understand that when I go to Sony Vegas. This uh, gray spot here is what I cut out. So this is the monster he appears here, the explosion. And as you've seen in the, the video, this is that's when the release date shows up. Here this is when the last rate, comment, subscribe shows up and then the next scene comes. This is the scene you're talking about. So all I have to do is go to pen crop right here. As you should know. Open it up and these are the keyframes I have already done. This is my project files already done. I deleted the video itself to save space on the computer. So that's why it's not showing up. It's just showing up in red. If you notice here, this is uh, the answer to your question regarding the uh, boundaries of the video. When you open a pan and crop, the scene or the video is fully stretched out like this. Or let me just press uh, the fault. This is how it looks. But to give yourself room to shake, you just shrink it down to a reasonable size so that it still looks like it's the original scene to people who are comparing the two. And then yeah, you have room to shake. This is how much room you have to shake. And if you want to shake it more, just shrink it in more and you'll be able to shake it this much. Okay, again, this self explanatory. Now, as far as the keyframes, I'm going to expand this for you. I just basically copied, paste and copied these frames. I made like maybe four or five of them. Like here. Then I dragged, paste and copied. Like that. I just overlapped some of them to create a variation. And if you notice, these keyframes are red. So I also um, right clicked and set them all to hold. The way you do that fast is once again you just drag over all of them you just click one of them and you can you know change them see how they all change to gray oh that's because they are linear feature but I put them on hold for this when you do that I believe you know what hold does but if you don't each time a video is or an object is uh, Press on hold, it will remain there until the next keyframe. So that means that the screen will basically sh shake this way, and until the next keyframe, it won't move. And then the next keyframe will go this way. So that causes the, the shaking motion like that. If you didn't do, um, if you didn't place a hold command on the, on the keyframes, the scene will move from left to right or whatever way you shook them. would move there slowly in a linear fashion or whatever other setting you have here. So if it's linear, then the screen will move from left to right and it won't look like shaking, it will look more like, uh, I don't know, dancing or something like this. So that's that. It's pretty much um, really simple. Nothing uh, advanced, just basic copy and a whole feature combined with this uh, increased space that I give him the video to operate in. That's all. So I hope that answers your question. I'm sorry I don't have the actual you know, footage of the screen, but uh, you get the point. So here you go. So it looks like it's um, looks like it's exactly the same thing from the actual Bleach anime, but I uh, just shrunk it down a little bit, and you can't tell the difference. Thank you. I hope that answers your question.